What's going on guys? Free Raptor here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day or night depending on where you are. Nevertheless, you guys hope you guys are doing well. So in contrast to my previous video, you guys had some amazingly good responses. Uh, so like uh, to, to the new uh, DLC reveal, which is going to happen evil uh, on in August 2nd or August from August 2nd or the August 4th. So yeah, you uh, I, I put out a video saying that what character should be there for the new DLC or potential new season 3 pass. So yeah, I just want to go through some character predictions, yeah. So I'm going to go through some of my predictions or maybe, yeah, actually, you know what? I'm going to go through the predictions which you guys predicted in the comments below. So let's go through, let's go through some comments. Let's go through some comments. Hold on. So first is by Harish Keshwi. So he wants either Zafina, which I mentioned, Bruce, which I also mentioned, and Wang. I haven't mentioned Wang, but Wang should be back in Tekken 7, if you guys don't know who Wang is. So yeah, Wang first appeared in Tekken 1 all the way to Tekken 5, oh no, Tekken Tag 2, I'm sorry, Tekken Tag 2. Yeah, all the way from Tekken Tag 2. So, 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 so the story about Wang is that he is the grandfather of Ling Xiaoyu, if you guys know who Xiaoyu is, it's a little Chinese girl with all the crazy ass uh, mix up and shit like that, who is really annoying to be online by the way. <laughs> but he is the grandfather of Ling Xiaoyu and who is a really cool character. So, uh, Ming Min Sui really recently put up, I think it was today, put out a video on Wang Jinwei and his breakdowns and he's got a godlike parry. I, I, never, I never noticed this, but Wing Wang has some Ip Man kind of shit kind of parry, so he, he goes like, like this kind of shit, so it's really amazing. Um, so yeah, he was a really good character, so he, he was, he was lo loved by all. Yeah, so Wang officially died in Tekken 5, I'm guessing, uh, it's Tekken 5. I think it was Tekken 5 that he died by sacrificing his life for Jimpachi Mishima so he was a Wang was uh, Jimpachi Mishima who's the grandfather of uh, Kazuya and a best friend of uh, Wang so basically they uh, th there was this best friend kind of moment between them I, I actually don't know the lore because I haven't played Tekken Tag 2 to be honest I didn't own a PS3 uh, but I never played Tag 2 other than that I played a whole Tekken series so yeah, uh, I think Wang died sacrificing his life to save his best friend. I don't know if that's canon, but the thing is they bought back all the dead characters from the previous games like Tekken 6. It's Tekken 6 where the most, mostly where the characters died. When, uh, when canon or non-canon, th that's where mostly the characters died. But they were all bought back as doppelgangers in Tekken 2. So every character had a, diff had a, a clone of themselves in as I could say, uh, with them. So yeah, anything could happen in uh, the reveal, so it could be Wang. Next, we're going to talk about Baek Tosan. Baek Tosan is the lovely gentleman who is the mentor of um, Horang. Yes, the backlash guy, Horang. You know, the guy in uh, online Tekken 7 rank where he just keeps on mashing. Uh, 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 he just keeps on mashing, 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 mashing. <laughs> but uh, he is the mentor of Horang. Yes, uh, he his first appearance was in Tekken Tag, Tekken Tag no Tekken Two, all the way to Tekken Tag Two, right? So he was there through the whole Tekken. Uh, yeah, uh, he basically is the, sa the same the same move set as Horang has, but a little bit different here and there. But uh, Hor when uh, Bake died in Tekken Tag and uh, Tekken Six, while he was uh, he tried to save Horang, he. Horang basically inherited some of Big Dosan's uh, move list, but not that many, not 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 all of them. Big Dosan had Big Dosan had really sick moves. I, I, I my personal opinion, he felt really smoother than Big Dos uh, in that Horang. Sorry, but yeah, uh, that's one character uh, people wanted. Who, who actually said that to me? Um, let's actually see. Yeah, it was FPS. FPS wanted Big back and June. Good old June, Mama Mishima. So if you guys know who Jun is, Jun is the mother of Jin and the wife of Kazuya. Yes. So Jun uh, is basically how do I explain Jun? If you guys don't know, Jun is basically how Asuka plays in Tekken Seven. So the Kazama style combo. Yes, that's Jun. Jun is uh, so Asuka uh, basically inherited Jun's movesets from from Tekken Five till uh, to Tekken till now. So what June is is that she appeared in Tekken One. I'm guessing she was there till Tekken One, Tekken Tech, Tekken One, Tekken Two, Tekken Three. I'm not sure about Tekken Three. Yeah, then she had a break from Tekken Four, Tekken Five, Tekken Six, and came back in Tekken Tag Two. Uh, she came back in Tekken Tag. She oh wait wait I think she was there in Tekken Tag One, but she was 
uh, she had two forms of herself. So it was unknown. Unknown is a dark form of uh, June. So basically, she, in, in the, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a picture somewhere up, uh, you know, somewhere up here. You guys can you guys will know what I'm talking about. But yeah, and the same in Tekken Tag 2, she came back, back as a normal character and she came back as unknown. Uh, she had some pretty good mix up. She had different stances. She had different stances. Uh, Asuka doesn't have stances. He, she just has the basic Kazama style combo. But uh, June had three stances she could go through. So the mix up characters on that uh, character was insane. Insane. So yeah, we'd definitely like to see June back as well. Um, but it entirely depends on Michael Moray now, uh, who is the lead director of Tekken 7. I mean, the lead producer. Yeah, the lead producer of Tekken 7. Um. Uh, Keeping that aside, it might not only be uh, the old characters returning, it could be unpredicted characters, as I mentioned in my previous video. You guys can find it. I'll post a link in my description. I'm going to even post it up here. You guys can click on it to see my previous videos. Uh, but yeah, uh, it could be different characters. It could be it could Hellboy or whatever. Because, for example, Mortal Kombat 11 is coming out with Spawn as a DLC character. Right, but people predicted that a long time ago. So they wanted Spawn to come in Mortal Kombat X or Ten. So, but since in Mortal Kombat X had different different DLC characters already, they basically left it out for Tekken Eleven, which is a smart move actually. But we're talking about Mortal Kombat, we're talking about Tekken. So, yeah, as I said, different mix-up potentials. Uh, the character mix-up potential as DLC characters can be insane. So, don't know what to expect. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below as well. Uh, yeah, that that's basically what I had to say about these characters coming to uh, the new DLC, or uh, which is going to be announced in August. We we'll, we'll just have to wait and watch to see what happens. So yeah, that's 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 basically it, guys. So yeah, that's all the time I have for this video. If you guys have any more questions, or if you have anything to discuss, let me know in the comments down below. That being said, stay safe. Peace. Legends never die when the world is calling you. Can you hear them scream?